Hello Tinkerers and welcome to another Tinker. We're going to look at one of my favourite buildings today, Taipei 101. What a wonderful cool building it is. So, how am I going to recreate that in Tinkercad? First off, let's open up a brand new workspace and name my project Taipei 101. Gives me a great start. So let's look at the building itself. I've got these certain blocks, I've got a repeating pattern in these top blocks and they're like sloped in kind of like a top of a pyramid but not as steep so let's start with this main body today let's look for trying to recreate this rectangular shape of a slight curved outwards so looking at my basic shapes the box won't do today so going down i do have a pyramid now with this pyramid i could extend upwards and then i could take off top of it and what would leave me would be a nice shape block but I could also look at this shape now this shape doesn't look anything like the shape I want it to do but what I've got up here is how many steps now my shape I'm looking for has four sides so let's just take this down all the way to four and there you go let's have a look at which one of these would work best I'm just looking at cutting the top off so I could cut the top off this one that'd work pretty well but I think I cut off the top of this one it'd really give me them nice angular shape I was looking for so let's do that let's grab a box put it on top and let's bring it up to the top of the plaboroid and here we go oh, that's not over the top here it is it's over the top now uh, adjust it slightly so I get that nice bottom shape that I'm looking for I think that's it so let's group them two together okay let's select both of them hold shift select them both let's group them and let's cut off the top look at that that's the shape I'm looking for don't need you pyramid off you go you can use a pyramid but I'm going to use this shape today and that's going to be my base shape so first off, I need to just create this a long extended bottom piece. So let's duplicate that. Let's take that to the middle. And then let's just extend that one upwards. Here we go. Let's make it a nice 25 high. There you go. I've got my nice base shape. Let's take this one then. I need to flip it over, don't I? So I can fit it on top. So that's the wrong way. So grab my arrows. I can move it around a little by little. Or I could hold shift. And it'd move it 90, 90, 90, 180. Move it all the way around. And then grab them both. Let's align them. And put one on top of the other. Thing is, that's not even uh, being on close to the top. So let's pick that one up. And what did we say? It was 25. So I could try and eyeball it and try and get it on 25 but the thing is if i've got it slightly over 26 what you've got is a floating building i know you can't really see you can just about see a gap and i don't want a floating building because especially don't want any collapsed buildings to go so i need to make sure that one is perfectly on top of that one so i need to get back to 25 the easiest way is just click on that and click 25 and it puts it perfectly on top of that one and then from that point i know this one is nine high so uh, Let's make it nice and easy and make it 10. And then it's going to make my life easier stacking up these shapes. Because I know at 25 plus 10 is 35. So let's duplicate that one. And move it up. I could move it up and try and get it perfectly. Oh, yeah, I've got it first time. Or I could click on that and do 35. So 35, next one. Duplicate. Up it goes. 45. Next one, 55. Oh, it's doing it for me now. Excellent. Next one, 65. So I've got one, two, three, four, five stacked. How many do I need to stack? Well, let's go back. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stacked. So I'm on five so far. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There you go. I've got Taipei 101, the main building. That is looking very good from my point of view so once i've got that one i need to think about 
The next part, this little stack on top of Taipei 101. If I look at my drawing of it, it's basically one of those shapes, nice and thin, and then it's a cylinder, and then it's a spike. So, how am I going to do that? Well, let's take one of these shapes, let's duplicate it, and then let's bring it down. Whoops, so easy. There we go. Make a mistake. And then let's bring it down to the floor. So, the easiest way is just to click on that and click zero. So there you go, it's back on the floor. Let's move it onto my whip plane. Now then, I don't want it to be 20 by 20. I need it to be nice and small. So let's think about this. Let's take it right down to six this way and six this way. There you go, I've got a nice little stack. Then I need my cylinder. So I need my cylinder. Thing is, that's a bit big for that one. So I brought that down six by six. I want it to be slightly smaller. So let's take that down to five by five let's see if they fit on together let's align them again this align tool is very useful align that way twist around always make sure you're looking at it from different angles it's that way oh oh that doesn't look right so let's take it down even slightly further take it down to four by four yeah that's going to work for me i think align again to make sure everything keep everything nicely aligned it is coming out the bottom, so let's just move it up. Because I only want it in the top part. I mean, that's a bit too long comparing it to my floor pan. It's only a little bit sticking out, but spikes are a lot bigger. So just shrink it down. There we go. Make it nice and neat. There you go. I've got a nice little bit there. And then let's duplicate that out again. Duplicate. And then this one, I want to make a nice little spike. So it's four by four at the moment. Let's take it all the way down to two by two and i've got a nice little spike in the middle bring that up how big do i want my spike up the top about that big it's not aligned so just bring them all together align them again one direction and the other direction and remember nicely on top there you go that's looking lovely for my spike on top grab them let's group them all together got my group all together now i need to remember how high this is don't i that was 25 plus 10, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 105. Hopefully it's 105 high. Shall we try that? See if it, I can do my maths correctly. 105. And then if I bring them all together, grab it all. Align this direction and this direction. Wow, we have got Taipei 101. Now then, there is only one other feature that I want to talk about. And if we look at our picture, is the cylinders running through. There's one cylinder that way and one cylinder that way. So how can I get them cylinders? Well, I've got a shape called a cylinder. Let's just group all these together. So I'm happy with that. If I'm happy with it. Make sure it's all grouped. There we go. So I need my cylinders running through my building. Okay, take my cylinder and then I'm going to first off shrink it down so i'm going to take it down all the way down to i reckon six by six that work that's looking about the right size to go through my cylinder and i need to so first off i need to turn it around so grab it and turn it around to 90 and then it is on a 45 degree so i need to turn it this way as well 45 and i need to fit that all the way from one side to the other side Lining help, line it that direction and that direction, there we go, it's not obviously in the right place, bring it up slightly, so let's say 21, I'm happy with 21, that's looking good, it might be sticking out a bit too much, so I can obviously shrink down my So I can shrink down my period cylinder. So it's sticking out one side too much again. So just to align it again. And it will keep aligning it until you're happy with it. There we go. Ooh, that's looking good, isn't it? And then I just need the same cylinder. Click on it. Duplicate it. And then it's just rotating it round. So it's not on 45. It's going to be that direction. There we go. Look at that. Taipei 101. I'm very happy with that. I'm happy for you to try out your own ideas and tinker away until you get that perfect 
uh, building. I'm going to make this nice and light blue. I like a light blue building. It kind of goes with a glass. It kind of shows off them edges. And then I've got silver for these. Or a nice light grey. That's one of them light grey. And another one light grey. I've got my Taipei 101. Looking forward to seeing what you come up with. Keep up the good work.